What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Baseball G for a very special episode of my show. Today, we are going to be talking about Branch, Ricky, and Jackie Robinson. Uh, I'm sure everybody knows the story inside and out. Every baseball fan has probably seen the movie 42 multiple, multiple times, as I know I have. It's one of my favorite movies because it tells a very good story of what Jackie Robinson went through in his life as a black baseball player. Jackie was playing for the Kansas City Monarchs, a Negro League team at that time. I'm also repping, repping a Negro League uh, jersey right here. This is uh, a jersey that I found at a thrift store, I believe. Uh, it's, it's of the Homestead Grays, and I only got it for 10 bucks, so it's quite a bargain. But yeah, Jackie was playing for the Kansas City Monarchs, which was a Negro League team at that time. Uh, that team also had famous players like uh, Satchel Paige, Ernie Banks, and Cole Papa Bell. You had other guys in the Negro Leagues like Roy Campanella and Josh Gibson. It's really a crazy story of how these guys, who definitely had the skill to play in the MLB, were shunned and told they can't play in the MLB because of the color of their skin. Now, Jackie Robinson is the person who changed all of that. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that. And I hope everybody, hopefully everybody knows that today, uh, because I'm recording this on April 15th, uh, is Jackie Robinson Day. This, this is the day that everybody celebrates. I, I don't know if it's really... But for baseball fans, it's a huge day. You know, this is uh, the day that every MLB team goes out on the field. They wear the number 42 in honor of Jackie Robinson. So Branch Rickey, the general manager for the Dodgers, decided he wanted to make waves and introduce a Negro League baseball player into the MLB. He picked Jackie Robinson out of the huge list of other names that were thrown his way. He wanted Jackie Robinson because he saw huge potential, not just in his playing ability, but in his attitude towards the rat, the harassment he was about to face. He was signed to the minor league affiliate uh, of the Dodgers, which is the Montreal Royals. Uh, there he was given a chance to show everybody what he was made of. He was given a chance to not blow his temper at the people who would just shout, numerous profanities at him just to get him to react. Robinson played for a whole 10 years with the Dodgers from the year 1947 to 1956. He started playing for the Dodgers when he was 28, so he was in the majors about four years later than the usual MLB player because the usual MLB player uh, makes it up at about 24-ish. It's probably like the average age. His professional debut was none other than today, April 15th, which is why you know baseball fans uh, everywhere recognize this as Jackie Robinson Day. This was his debut. Like, this was his MLB debut. Over his career in the MLB, he had 1,518 hits, 137 home runs, a career 311 batting average, 734 RBIs, 197 stolen bases, 409 on base percentage, a 474 slugging, and an 883 OPS. That is basically his entire stat line, right? He was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1962, and I believe he died 10 years later in 1972. Uh, I forget what he died of, but... The movie 42 came out in 2013, and Jackie Robinson was played by Chadwick Boseman. Like I said earlier, this is one of my favorite movies because the movie is fairly accurate in regards to the actual uh, history of what happened. There are so many parts of the movie that make me laugh. Not not like ha 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 laugh, but like, oh, <laughs> like that kind of laugh, right? Um... There's also a bunch of parts that make me extremely angry because everybody should be able to play baseball no matter what skin color you are. Um, 
that's just yeah that's just something that really kind of hurts me about this movie uh, is all the times that they they throw around the n word, especially uh, Chapman from from the Phillies in the movie. Just yeah, it, it's it's a lot. Uh, my favorite part is where Branch Ricky at the beginning of the movie says he's a Methodist. I'm a Methodist. God's a Methodist. I find this funny because I don't think God is anything like is God. I don't. I, I don't. I don't know. God could be Methodist. God could be Lutheran. For all I know, God could be Catholic. I, I really don't know. God is God, though. Just saying. Another funny part of the movie is when he gets kicked out of a game by a sheriff uh, because he's black, and he goes back to his wife. J uh, Jackie goes back to his wife and tells her, "Okay, Skipper, I'm a getting. I'm a getting." Uh, I, I can't really do the voice that well, but that was like the gist of how it sounded. If you ever watch a the movie, then you probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, th this was just funny for some reason because of the way he did it in the movie. I think Chadwick Boseman actually did a really good job of just making it a funny scene. <laughs> so yeah, that's just a part that I thought was really funny. And like I said, uh, there are parts that I just I hate in this movie. It's not that I hate the movie or I think it's a bad movie because of those parts. It's just that I can't imagine how people can be so racist and think they have every right to be. Every time they drop the N-word in the movie just makes me cringe. But but I also know that's how people were back then. And they were proud to be that way. Um, and it's just, it's just so, it's so sad. Like, I, I just, I cannot imagine it. I, I don't know. It's just, yeah. It, it makes me, it makes me really, really really angry to just have to hear that word like 30,000 times. It's like the movie Django, but with baseball, you know? So, with that, I want to say rest in peace to the actor that played Jackie Robinson, Chadwick Boseman, who died of cancer. Uh, he will truly be missed. He is a great actor and a Wakandan legend. Uh, rest in peace to Jackie Robinson, who died in 1972 at a very young age of 53. I think he also died of cancer or something like that. Uh, with that, I'm going to wrap up this video. Make sure to like all my videos and subscribe to my channel if you like the stuff I put out here. I'm going to be starting on MLB The Show 21 streaming uh, starting either tomorrow or Saturday, depending on how long it takes to download. Um, I'm going to get it tomorrow in the mail at some point, and I'm not sure how long it's going to be until it gets fully downloaded to where I can play online, online, and all that kind of stuff. So, we'll see. Help me get up to 50 subs. I feel like that's a pretty good number. So, yeah, I, just help me get up to 50 subs. I feel like that's pretty number, a pretty good number to get up to, so... With that, thank you for tuning into Baseballology.